How many Patriot missiles must Ukraine waste failing to stop a single maneuvering Iskander before its defenses collapse completely? The night sky erupts in a hellish orange glow as a hypersonic nightmare slams into a residential district. Windows shatter miles away, the ground heaves, and emergency sirens wail into the smoke-choked darkness. This isn't science fiction, it's the brutal reality of Russia's Iskander-M missile system, a weapon rapidly becoming synonymous with terror and devastation across Ukraine. Just days ago, a suspected Iskander strike on a crowded market in Kostyantinivka killed 12 civilians and wounded dozens, a grim echo of similar attacks throughout June targeting power substations in Dnipro and a critical rail hub near Lviv, crippling Ukraine's infrastructure. Analysts fear the worst is yet to come, projecting that by 2025, Russia's stockpile and deployment of these precision killers could intensify, potentially overwhelming Ukraine's strained defenses and turning cities into even more frequent bullseyes. The Iskander-M isn't just a missile, it's a symbol of Russia's relentless multi-front bombardment strategy, striking fear from Belarusian launch pads to occupied Crimea, leaving Ukrainians to wonder where the next blow will fall. The Iskander-M's reign of terror began long before the 2022 invasion. First deployed operationally in 2006, it saw limited use in the 2008 Georgia War and the 2014 annexation of Crimea. But in Ukraine, it has become a cornerstone of Russia's standoff warfare, hitting hard from afar with terrifying accuracy. Its historical reputation for evading interception and delivering massive payloads has now been cemented in the charred ruins of Ukrainian towns and military bases. The psychological impact is profound its speed means often no warning, just sudden, catastrophic destruction. News reports in late June 2024 detail its use against decision-making centers, a chilling euphemism for command posts and energy facilities, plunging regions into darkness during scorching summer heat waves, showcasing its role as a tool of both physical destruction and societal disruption. The Iskander-M, NATO reporting name SS-26 Stone, is a short-range ballistic missile SRBM system designed for one purpose, to deliver a massive precision-guided punch deep behind enemy lines with minimal warning. Its attack sequence is a terrifying ballet of speed, stealth, and brute force. 1. Launch and Boost Phase The 9M723 missile, housed in a transporter erector launcher, is fired. Within seconds, its solid fuel rocket motor ignites, propelling it to hypersonic speeds exceeding Mach 6, over 4,600 miles per hour or 7,400 kilometers per hour. This incredible velocity compresses the timeline for defenders to react, the entire flight to its maximum 500 kilometers, 310 mile range takes mere minutes. 2. Mid-course maneuvering the key to survival and multi-directionality. This is where the Iskander-M becomes exceptionally dangerous and difficult to counter. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow a predictable parabolic arc, the Iskander-M performs radical maneuvers in the upper atmosphere. Pulling G's it executes sharp pulls up to 30 G-forces using aerodynamic control surfaces and potentially thrust vectoring. Depressed trajectory, it can fly a flatter, lower path, making it harder for radar to detect early and reducing the engagement window for systems like Patriot missiles. Maneuvering Warhead the warhead section itself can separate and maneuver independently in the terminal phase, performing evasive jinks and spirals. This quasi-ballistic flight profile is designed explicitly to defeat modern air defense systems by making interception calculations nearly impossible. 3. 
terminal guidance and impact. In its final descent, the Iskander-M employs a terrifyingly accurate guidance suite. Inertial Navigation System INS, provides constant position updates. GLONASS Russian GPS, offers satellite-based precision targeting. Optical Radar Seeker the warhead may use an electro-optical or radar seeker for terminal homing, allowing it to lock onto and adjust its path towards moving targets or specific structures in the final seconds. This combination enables circular error probable CEP accuracy estimated at 5 to 10 meters, meaning half the warheads land within that distance of the aim point. Detonation and destruction. Upon impact, the 480 to 700 kilograms high explosive fragmentation warhead unleashes catastrophic force. Blast wave, a supersonic shock wave pulverizes structures within a large radius, dozens of meters for reinforced buildings. Fragmentation, a casing designed to splinter sends thousands of high velocity shrapnel pieces tearing through personnel and light vehicles hundreds of meters away. Penetration. While not a dedicated bunker buster, the kinetic energy of its hypersonic impact allows it to penetrate significant earthworks or concrete before detonating, maximizing damage to fortified positions. Alternative warheads. Russia has reportedly deployed Iskanders with cluster munitions, dispensing hundreds of submunitions over an area, and thermobaric fuel air explosive warheads, significantly increasing lethality against different target types. The Iskander M's combination of range, speed, accuracy, and payload makes it Russia's premier weapon for high-value time-sensitive targets deep within Ukraine. 1. Ukrainian military hardware, a primary target. Iskanders excel at destroying concentrated armor, artillery, parked tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, and self-propelled guns caught in staging areas or during resupply. A single hit can wipe out multiple vehicles and crews. Reports indicate strikes on Ukrainian armor concentrations near Chasiv Yar in June 2024. Air defense systems Mobile launchers for systems like Iris TSLM or NASAMs are prime targets due to their strategic importance. Knocking them out creates gaps for Russian aircraft and other missiles. Command posts, CPs, and communications nodes. Decapitation strikes aimed at disrupting Ukrainian command and control. The accuracy allows targeting specific buildings or bunkers housing headquarters. Two. Military infrastructure, foundational support elements are relentlessly attacked. Barracks and training grounds causing mass casualties among personnel and destroying facilities. Ammunition depots, catastrophic secondary explosions from Iskander. Strikes on depots have been a hallmark of the conflict like the massive blast near Khmelnytsky in 2023. June 2024 saw similar strikes reported near frontline logistics hubs. Airfields, targeting runways, hangars, fuel storage, and parked aircraft, if present. Third, critical national infrastructure, CNI. A key element of Russia's strategy to break Ukrainian morale and warfighting capacity. Power generation and transmission. Repeated strikes on substations and thermal power plants, like those in Dnipro region, June 2024, cause widespread blackouts, crippling industry, communications, and civilian life. Transportation hubs, rail yards, bridges, though larger ones often require heavier munitions, and key road junctions to disrupt military logistics and civilian supply chains. Industrial facilities defense plants or factories supporting the war effort. Fourth, urban areas, terror disruption. While less accurate against pinpoint targets in dense cities, Iskander strikes on urban centers cause significant civilian casualties, destruction of housing and services, and immense psychological trauma. 
The market strike in Kostyantinivka exemplifies this brutal application. Beyond the immediate carnage, the Iskander M represents a significant technological achievement and a complex strategic challenge. Hypersonic advantage, its speed is its primary defense. Existing Ukrainian air defenses, Patriot, SAMP-T, Iris-TSLM, are capable but face immense difficulty intercepting a maneuvering target arriving at Mach 6+. The engagement window is often measured in seconds. Counter-defense capabilities, the missile's sophisticated maneuvering, potential for low-altitude flight, and use of decoys chaff are explicitly designed to penetrate layered air defense networks. This forces Ukraine to expend valuable, limited interceptor missiles in attempts to stop them. Deployment flexibility, multi-directionality, Launchers are highly mobile and can fire from concealed positions across a vast area. Russian territory occupied Ukraine, Donbass, Crimea, and Belarus. This forces Ukraine to defend a massive perimeter, stretching resources thin. A strike near Lviv could originate from Belarus, while one in Zaporizhzhia could come from Crimea or Rostov. Comparison to Western Systems Often compared to the U.S. MGM-140 ATAX-EMS used by Ukraine, the Iskander-M generally has a larger warhead, 700 kg, versus ATAX-EMS's 160 kg or 230 kg variants, and more sophisticated terminal maneuvering, making it potentially harder to intercept. However, ATAX-EMS benefits from superior Western targeting networks. Production and Supply Russia has significantly ramped up Iskander production, though exact numbers are classified. Western sanctions impact advanced microelectronics, potentially affecting future production quality or rates. Nevertheless, current stockpiles allow for sustained strikes. Ukrainian countermeasures Ukraine relies on dispersal of forces and equipment, hardening of critical sites, deception, dummy targets, early warning, radar, human intelligence, and its limited stock of advanced interceptors. Electronic warfare attempts to jam guidance signals, but the INS GLONASS optical seeker combination provides significant redundancy. The effectiveness remains a constant, deadly cat-and-mouse game. The Path to 2025. As the war grinds on, the Iskander M's role is unlikely to diminish. Russia will likely continue leveraging its ability to strike unpredictably from multiple directions, focusing on degrading Ukraine's military capabilities and civilian infrastructure. Projections suggest increased use of drone Iskander swarms or further refinement of seeker technology for even harder to intercept strikes. For Ukraine, countering this threat requires a constant influx of advanced air defense interceptors, enhanced early warning systems, and persistent Western support. The Iskander M is more than a weapon. It's a persistent, multi-vector threat embodying the brutal, high-tech nature of modern warfare, casting a long, destructive shadow over Ukraine's present and future. Its hypersonic arrival, often without warning, ensures that the terror of the strike is only matched by the devastating silence that precedes it.